everyone. This is Miss Sue Ann from the University City Public Library again with another story time for you today. And I hope you enjoy it. If you can look around and see what's behind me, it might give you an idea of what time of year we're going into. And our story time has something to do with that kind of year, time of year rather. So are you ready to go? Are you ready? Hi there, so glad you came. Hi there, so glad you came. Hi there, so glad you came. One, two, three, let's shout hooray. Hi there, so glad you're here. Hi there, so glad you're here. Hi there, so glad you're here. One, two, three, let's give a cheer. Yay! I'm so ready, I hope you are too. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Our story today is full of bears. And the bears... Bears don't stay awake all winter. Did you know that? They kind of need to go take a nap, and there's a special word for that. They hibernate, and they have to sleep all the way through the winter, and they wake back up in the spring, and they have to find a place to go and sleep, and usually they call it a den or a cave. And so the bears in our stories today are going to be getting ready to take their long winter sleep. The bear went into her cave, the bear went into her cave, the bear went into her cave to take a winter's nap. A long, long winter's nap, a long, long winter's nap. The bear went into her cave, the bear went into her cave, the bear went into her cave to take a winter's nap. Bye, bear. Are you ready for our first story? Our first story about bears going to sleep is called Sleep, Big Bear Sleep. The author who wrote this story of Sleep, Big Bear Sleep is Maureen Wright. Are you ready? Let's find out about Big Bear going to sleep. There's the countryside where Bear is living. And you can see that it's getting, wintry time is coming. There's a big old man winter cloud up there. And here we go. Old Man Winter from a storm cloud spied his big bear friend in the countryside. He leaned to the earth and he softly sighed. Sleep, big bear, sleep. But big bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as twilight fell. Drive a jeep, big bear, drive a jeep. Hmm. So, big bear yawned as he drove around in a jeep on a road just south of town. <sighs> oh my goodness. He's got everybody running away. Do you think the bear knows how to drive very well? I bet not. But after a while, he stopped in a park. An old man whispered as it grew dark, 
Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Big Bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as the dry leaves fell. Sweep, Big Bear, sweep. So, Big Bear went to a house down the street and swept each room so nice and neat. But after a while, he yawned again. And Old Man Winter warned his friend, Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Big Bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as the shadows fell, Leap, Big Bear, leap. And when you leap, it means you're going to jump. So, Big Bear found a frog he knew and play leapfrog while the cold wind blew. Till all at once he fell to the ground. The wind through the trees was the only sound, and Old Man Winter said with a frown, Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Big Bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as the darkness fell. Dive deep, Big Bear, dive deep. So, Big Bear padded to a clear blue lake, finding it hard to stay awake. See how he's yawning? He dove in deep and he swam to the shore. He had never been so very tired before. There he goes, down, down, down. Well, his head dropped down, oops, his head dropped down and he let out a snore. And Old Man Winter said once more, Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Big Bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as snowflakes fell. Climb a mountain steep, Big Bear, steep. So, Big Bear trudged to the mountaintop where the cold winds blew and the temperature dropped. He sat on a stump on the highest spot and wished for a blanket and a fold-up cot. It's getting pretty cold. I would be too in all that snow. Then, he stumbled back down with his eyes half shut, so tired he didn't know which way was up. Old man yelled while shaking his head. Hey there, bear! Did you hear what I said? It's winter time! Now go to bed! Ooh. Big Bear's eyes were droopy and tired. You could have told me before, he said. He lumbered nearby to his cozy den, rubbed his eyes, and yawned again. He put on his PJs, and he blew out the light. And finding his pillow, he said, Good night. That's the end of sleep, Big Bear sleep. Bear finally, finally went to sleep. He finally heard what Old Man Winter was trying to say. Took him a while, didn't it? How about that? So, we have another story about a bear. And this bear has friends. And his friends are raccoons. 
you like raccoons. Where is Bear? Where is Bear? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Where is Bear? Where is Bear? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Time for bears to go to sleep. But sometimes they have friends that don't go to sleep during the winter. And they might want their bear friends to stay up with them. That's what happens in this story. This story is called Bedtime for Bear. The author who wrote Bedtime for Bear is Brett Helquist. There's some mischievous friends in this story. Mischievous means they kind of get into a lot of stuff. And they, you see them up there? They're not ready for Bear to go to sleep. Do you like Bear's pajamas? I think they kind of look like mine, don't you? Bedtime for Bear. yawning. It was just after the first snowfall when Bear's friends came running to his house. Hey, Bear! Come on out and play! Bear rolled over. Please? We won't see you again until spring! No, I can't play. It's bedtime for Bears. And he tried to sleep. But Bear heard his friends playing. <laughs> Bear grumbled and closed his eyes. But Bear could still hear his friends laughing. <laughs> he could still hear his friends playing. Whee! Thump! throwing snowballs at his windows. Bear opened the door. Come on, guys, I'm trying to sleep. It's bedtime for bears. Uh-oh. Zoop! Splat! Bear got hit right in the head with a snowball. Bear wasn't happy. Go away! Let me sleep! But then, Bear tripped. Uh-oh. He flipped and slipped and tumbled down the hill. They look like one big snowball full of bears and raccoons. <laughs> Thump! Bear was wet. He was covered in snow. He was laughing! <laughs> And they did, again, and again, and again. Hey, Bear, follow me! There was snow to roll and stack. One, two, three, ta-da! What did they make? He made a snow bear. Look at his rascally friends back there in the back. Uh-oh. Zing! 
there was snow to throw. Zip, zip, zonk, zip. Look at what a great time they're having. <laughs> oh! Hey, Bear. We're tired. It's late. Isn't it bedtime for bears? How about just one more time? I won't see you again until spring. So, down they slid. And now it was getting dark. Good night. Night. <sighs> it was bedtime for Bear. Hey, Bear! See you in the spring. the end of bedtime for bear. I hope you enjoyed that story about bedtime for bear and maybe you have a nice pair of jammies you can wear when it gets cold outside. I do. I like mine. So you know Miss Sue Ann likes to sing her song at the end of story time about how good it is for you to keep on reading right? So I hope that you enjoyed story time today I hope that you're going to always keep reading, and the more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the smarter we'll be. Read home books and school books and fun books and library books. The more we read together, the smarter we'll be. Bye-bye. Keep reading. Keep getting smarter.